Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kendall. I'm obsessed with all things beauty. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is shop at Sephora. <laughs> and especially lately, I've been shopping at Sephora a lot, but I'm trying to literally so hard. I'm trying to refrain from shopping there right now because the sale is right around the corner. Um, I almost made a purchase and then I realized like it's eight days away. You can wait. So if you guys didn't see, I just posted, hopefully cross my fingers, everything went well. I should have just posted my recommendations video for the sale, which are all the products that I already own that I'm recommending to you guys, obviously. But this video is going to be more so my personal wish list and what's in my cart and what I think is like a good deal. So I have my loves list and I have my cart. And I just didn't do one big video because it would have been way, way too long. So hopefully you guys enjoy the multiple uploads. Before we get started, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to catch some future videos, which may very well include a haul from everything I'm going to talk about. Well, not everything. I probably won't buy everything I'm going to talk about, but like We'll see what I actually buy, and maybe I can try it out for you guys in a haul slash try on. So yeah, subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you, and let's get started. First up, I don't know if I'm going to buy this because it's so expensive, but maybe the discount will make me want to buy it. I've seen so many people talk about it, so many people take pictures of it, it's so beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Blush and Highlighting Palette. It is, I think, limited edition for the holiday collection. It's $75. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but like the outer packaging, it has like an opalescent, like pink, beautiful outer packaging. And then it has two blushes and two highlighters. The color fair to medium is the one that's in my cart and it just looks so freaking pretty. And I have seen some people talk about it and use it and it looks beautiful, but 75 just feels so high for a face palette because that's like exquisite eyeshadow palette price on a face palette which I'm sure it comes with a lot of products but you can see I haven't fully made up my mind on that one. <laughs> Next up I did talk about this in my recommendations but it's an empty of mine so I didn't actually have it to share and it's so good that I'm thinking about picking it up during the sale. It is the Youth to the People Mandelic Acid Superfood Unity Exfoliant which I think I called it a toner in my last video. Um, I still kind of look at it and use it as a toner but I guess it's like an exfoliant liquid exfoliant but it's $38 so it is on the pricier side but that product I don't know if it's the mandelic acid or just the combination inside that toner but my skin never looks better than when I'm working that into my routine so I really feel like I should pick it up again and the same goes for my favorite primer of all time I've been really into um, gripping primer lately so I haven't really been using as many moisturizing primers but my tried and true forever has been Too Faced hangover primer I've gone through more Too Faced primers than any primer ever in my collection. Um, so once again, I don't have any in my collection. So I have the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer in my cart and I feel like, feel like it went up in price because it's $37. I could be wrong, but I feel like it used to be 32. I don't know what, what's happening there. That seems high. I, maybe it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I go through that so fast when I have it and I literally go through the whole thing. I cut the top off of it and I dip into the very last scrap of primer when I've made it all the way through. So I know that I'm in love with that primer and it actually I think makes my skin look better over time because it is kind of like a skincare product as well. So I probably am getting that one. And then finally I have a more fun one. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Beauty Highlighter Wand Duo Set. So this comes with a mini pink gasm beauty light wand and then a spotlight beauty light wand mini as well. I really have wanted to try the pink gasm one and I just don't want to pay $40 or whatever for the full size because I ended up buying a full size highlighter wand and because I couldn't get the pink asm one, I got the pillow talk one. And I don't think that one, I don't think it's really worth what I paid for it. 
I kind of regret buying it. I also have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, the potted concealer in my cart. Now, not every shade of this is in stock, and I've never tried it before. Um, everyone is talking about this on TikTok. If you guys are on TikTok in the makeup world, then you know, like, everyone's talking about it. I've never tried it. My mom has tried it. Like, I've taken her to Sephora to, like, find concealer. Um, she's always used potted concealer, so that was the one we found for her, like, years ago, and she loved it. So I really want to try it. I have the shade Creme Brulee in my cart, and I don't know if that would match me or not, which is why I kind of want to shop this sale in store. It will be the first time I ever do that. But I think I'm going to try to do that before I make any online orders. The last item that's actually in my cart and not in my loves list is the Sephora Collection Blush. It's $14, but they are going to have 30% off Sephora Collection. And I have the shade Flirt It Up, which is a like true bright pink. And right now, almost every single shade is in stock online on the app so that is like unheard of so hopefully they stay in stock for the sale because that would be great because they're already you know somewhat affordable for being at Sephora so to have that extra 30% off would be really satisfying it looks like some stuff is like going out of stock pretty quickly in my loves list this one I don't need but I would buy it as a gift so it's in there just in case I want to buy it for anybody in my family and that is the Sol de Janeiro Mist Master Mix Perfume gift set mouthful it's $26 for four mini size of the body mist which are some of my favorite to gift to people I use the Brazilian crush one almost every single day so I know that's a great gift and I really love the value of that $26 for four minis I feel like is so good and you could break it up and do stocking stuffers like with your family um so really good value but it says only a few left which is not a good sign. I have the Empowered palette in my loves list, but I already have it and love it. Um, I have the Makeup by Mario, Mario's Lip Lift Kit in the shade Pink Nude. Um, I have this in there because I've never tried a Makeup by Mario lip product, but I really want to. I keep seeing them all over Instagram, and this kit, I think, has a mini of each, the lipstick and the lip pencil, for $20, which love that price. The Charlotte Tilbury set that I talked about is in my loves list. Also, the new double cheeked up cream blush duo from Fenty Beauty is in my loves list. I just, I've never tried, I don't think, their cream blush, which is so weird. I love Fenty Beauty, but I've never tried it. So it's $34 for the duo and it has that really pretty pink packaging. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure I haven't tried the formula. Maybe I'll be that person who tests it out in store. I don't know. Um, and I don't know if I really need more blush. That's the thing, you guys. If you saw my blush drawer, you'd tell me to run in the opposite direction. My loves list is also, like, my Christmas list sometimes. So I actually have the K18 Biomimetic. Bio... Biomimetic hair science leave-in repair treatment. The K18 treatment is so expensive in the full size that I have not been able to justify that for myself. So they actually have an ornament. So it's a mini, it's only 0.5 ounces. Um, it's $29, but that's like the cheapest K18 that you're gonna find. So I have that in my loves list as like a, I want this for Christmas kind of thing because I just wanna test it out and see if my hair likes it without committing to the full size. Is that something that you could get a sample of at Sephora or is that like cringe? I'm gonna have a fun time going to Sephora for this sale, let me tell ya. I don't care anymore. I feel like as I get older, I just don't care. I'm gonna ask, see if I can get a sample of the K18. Along the lines of hair, I've just been on a hair journey, so a lot of my interests are with hair. Um, the Bumble and Bumble All About Hydration set is $37. It's a $55 value and it comes with a full size of the hairdresser oil, which I want that on its own. So it also comes with a conditioner and shampoo mini. So I just think that's a really good gift. So again, that's kind of something that I may ask for. Also in my loves, I have so many things in my loves because I'm not going to buy all this. It would be like a thousand plus dollars. Um, but I like to window shop. So I have the Tower 28 Dreamy Gleamy Holiday Lip Gloss Duo Set. Stunning. 
absolutely stunning. Um, it comes with a glittery gloss and then the shade Coconut, which is like a really pretty kind of like fruit punch type shade. And it's $22. And I'm pretty sure... Are they full size? Yeah, they're both full size. Okay, that took me a minute to find. They're both full size, which is why I think it's worth it. $22, $30 value, two full size glosses. Again, if you wanted to, you could break it up and do stocking stuffers. Um, but I think that's a great gift idea. This next one, I almost purchased it before the sale. So this is actually being added to my cart right now. I'm literally add to basket. Um, it is the Sephora Favorites Ultimate Holiday Hair Hydration Set. This is $39. It comes with a full size hair mask from Amika and then a bunch of mini sizes of awesome brands. So like Moroccan oil, shampoo and conditioner, and a travel size. And then, oh, it comes with a mini of the uh, Bumble and Bumble hairdresser oil. So maybe this is like better for me because I can try all these things. I wish it had the K18 in it, but it doesn't. It has Olaplex, Kerastase, it has uh, the Honey Hair Oil. So many good things in here. It's a great trial um, box, but also that full size right there kind of makes up for the price. It's a $109 value, and it's one of the best Sephora favorite values that I have personally witnessed this year. Pharmacy Beauty is one of my favorite skincare brands, and their makeup cleansing balm is one of the best on the market. I feel like they're super known for that. So they actually have a trio. It's called the Holiday Party Green Clean Trio that comes with three of the cleansing balms in like a smaller size. They're not huge ones, I don't think. For $46, it says it's a $72 value. Um, this, if you had three people in your life that love makeup, this would be the one to buy and break up for either stocking stuffers or just gifts in general because a cleansing balm will change the game for a makeup wearer and I have so many of these personally. This this is not something that I would purchase for myself because I literally have almost every single scent in the full size. Um, but this is something I go through so often because it's so satisfying to just take a chunk of that balm, get off all the nasties of the day, and then go in with another cleanser and like finish it off. It's it's a must have in any makeup wearer wearer's life. I love giving gifts. It's one of my favorite things, but I can't always give beauty products because I don't have that many beauty lovers <laughs> in my life. I have a few, but not enough. <laughs> So if you guys aren't aware, the last thing that I think is a great idea and purchase for the holiday season is the Sephora Favorites perfume samplers and cologne samplers. So they come with a variety of the trial size like tiny sample perfumes and they come with a certificate. So once you find your favorite out of the bunch, you can redeem the certificate for the full size version of that perfume. And I think that's such a fun way to like gift someone a perfume that way you know that they're gonna like it because they can pick it out themselves and they have a bunch of options to choose from and it gives you an excuse to like go back into the store and go shopping again so love the perfume samplers definitely check them out i think there are better varieties this year too than they were last year so i don't know if my energy was chaotic but it feels kind of chaotic so i'm sorry if it was but I love me a good Sephora video, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in my cart and my wish list and just kind of running over some of these good ideas for the sale. And definitely let me know if there's something that I'm missing that you think is a good gift idea or something that you have your eye on. Like, let's discuss because... I'm always looking for a good deal. But that is all from me today, and hopefully I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.